you how to make steak. I have absolutely amazing and unique recipe. Let's start. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to make steak. You probably know lots of recipes, but this particular recipe is very unique. It's a very interesting recipe. So, we need butter, so we have two steaks. Butter, uh, rosemary, garlic, and we're going to use, um, well, I have like a, a oil, a garlic oil and rosemary oil. But if you don't have it, that's fine, you can just use a regular oil. A little bit of balsamic vinegar and um, salt and pepper, okay? So, how are we going to start? So, this recipe is different from other recipes. So, I'm going to, see this is the steak, I'm going to make the cuts, okay? Like this. I would say, so how much cuts, see how thick it is? So, I would say half. You do like halfway. And we do like this way, okay? So, just cuts. So, you do cuts. See, this recipe is different from what you did before, probably. So, you do cut. See, like halfway kind of, right? So, because it's very thick, and so you want your ingredients go inside of the steak, just get infused. So, do the same with this one, right? So, it's halfway. You don't cut it, just a little bit halfway, just a little bit like this. And that's good enough. See, it's like that. See what happens? So it's kind of halfway, and you do like this. So now we have to wash our hands because I touched it. So I'm going to put pepper on your steak. Pepper, salt. garlic oil okay so I put a little bit of garlic oil and this is your rosemary oil okay now this is balsamic vinegar just very little we put a little bit of balsamic vinegar so it will help to cook your steak faster okay now we have rosemary and garlic and butter so this is let's let's keep like that for now so what we're going to do i need to cut a little bit of rosemary um uh, i would say two of them right so what we do we just cut this And I put it in the garlic. See, this is squeezed garlic, okay, guys? So I put rosemary in the garlic. Rosemary, garlic. And I'm going to put butter. Here, there is a butter. I would say just, you can see how much, right? Like this. So you mix it. See, you mix butter, garlic, okay? More butter. So you cut a little bit of butter like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. So this is your butter, rosemary, and garlic. So guys, we're going to start. We're going to preheat the pan and we're going to cook on a high heat. And the reason is we need to uh, seal the juices, okay? So we're going to use a little bit, I put very little, like garlic oil and rosemary oil. If you don't have it, it's fine, you can use just um, any regular oil, a virgin oil. Okay, so we're going to put like this. That's another one. Okay. You do not move, don't move your uh, steak. Don't touch. Okay guys, so it's a high heat. Don't touch for three minutes. Two to three minutes, do not touch. So what we're going to do now, this is your butter, okay? So I'm going to put butter, oh, 
garlic. Okay, so garlic goes to your oil. See like this, okay? And this is your rosemary, okay? So we are going to use the rosemary, put like this. This is to your oil. And use it like this. Put your rosemary all the way at the top. Okay, guys? Okay, this is your rosemary. Base. Okay, your rosemary. Great. And the, now we're going to put butter. One piece here, and another one piece here. That's the butter. Now, this is your mixture, you remember? Garlic, rosemary, and butter. We are going to put more. More butter and garlic and rosemary. Don't worry, it's so good. And this again. You remember we cut, so it's those pockets, right? So it, it's all going to inside the pocket. So guys, now we're going to sleep, okay? See the colors? How beautiful. Very nice, the smell, the aroma. And again, as I said, do not touch, okay? So now it's all garlic, garlic, butter, rosemary, it's all infused in your meat. Okay guys, now look what I'm doing. All the juices is the butter, rosemary, we just put it like this, okay? This is garlic, rosemary. Don't touch. Let's just have a cheap tip. Beautiful. So beautiful. and you put all the way on top. The garlic. And we don't mix it, don't touch. Just keep it like this, it has to be sealed. Okay guys, now we're going to sleep. Three minutes gone, okay? Two to three minutes. See, it might burn a little bit, but it's just because we put garlic. Okay, that's fine. Beautiful. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to peel from here like this, okay? how it looks like and now it goes to the oven 375 10 minutes so but before that see this is your balsamic vinegar I just put a little bit on the top okay 
like this. And again, this is your garlic oil a little bit. Just very little. And rosemary. We put fresh rosemary and just garlic, rosemary oil, and a little bit of balsamic vinegar, okay? On the top, like this, okay? So it's going to the oven. So we are going to eat our steak, we're going to serve our steak with the spinach, okay? So we're going to cook a little bit of spinach. So we are going to cook it on medium high. Uh, put a little bit of oil. As I said, I always like to use rosemary oil, but you can use any olive oil. And so a little bit of oil, and then I put spinach. Okay, very simple. You put spinach, and then you just cover up a little bit, and it's done, like in a few minutes. Um, just, um, and then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of garlic. Okay, guys. Squeeze a little bit of garlic and our spinach. Bam. That's good. Guys, it's very simple. A little bit of olive oil garlic and your spinach is ready just in a few minutes. You don't need to cook a lot, for a long time. This seems done. It's almost done. And I like to put a little bit of splash of balsamic vinegar. It's, it's, um, it's a great thing to do. Just a little bit. Like this, that's it, done. The spinach is done. I want to show you guys. Look. Perfect. And let's see. Mmm. So soft. Absolutely perfect. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely garlic. The herbs. Absolutely delicious. And I want to say thank you so much for watching me. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and I will see you next time on my show. Bye.